wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Toretta D. Rose report. We've got some breaking news. Late breaking news. WWE announced Friday, today, that Chris Jericho has been suspended indefinitely due to irresponsible act at a WWE live event in uh, Brazil on May 24th. Uh, it says here Jericho on their website Jericho suspended Jericho has been suspended indefinitely due to an irresponsible act of degrading uh, the Brazilian flag at a WWE live event on May 24th the uh, WWE apologizes to the citizen and the government of Brazil for this incident uh, I got a little more on it later uh, hang on a second but you know what we forget around here is whenever somebody degrades or burns our flag here in the United States some assholes, you know, go and do that. Well, we just let them go. Oh, just go ahead. You got the rights to, you know, to freedom of speech, you know, freedom of expression. Well, that's not the same everywhere. But, uh, of course, uh, shooting a bastard for doing that's illegal. So you can't really do it. You got to just, I don't know, call the you know, here in the States anyway. So <clears throat> Brazil is a little bit different. Really, it's a lot different. Anyway, WWE uh, Rosa Mendez, uh, diva, uh, continues to take time off from her car accident last week in Vegas. And Rosa uh, advertised uh, to face Kelly Kelly at a WWE live event in Brazil last night, but was replaced by Beth Phoenix. So I'll, hang on a second. I'll get a little more information. I just want to get this news here out of the way. Despite appearing with Abraham Washington, uh, WWE TV lately, uh, Mason Ryan was back with Dolph Ziggler as a bodyguard in Brazil last night. Mason uh, got involved in Ziggler's match against John Cena. Uh, oh, by the way, if you uh, watch SmackDown tonight, you're going to see something just amazing that good old Ryback does. Haven't, I don't know, haven't seen the, uh, you know, anybody do this for a long time, but I can't remember. I, I've seen somebody else uh, get close, but I'm not going to tell you. Just watch what Ryback does. He's going to be a hell of a star as long as he don't get hurt. Anyway, regarding CM Punk taking on a Chris Jericho match that led to Jericho's suspension, the match began with Jericho insulting uh, Brazil you know, as a heel promo, you know, like always. Anyway, a fan tossed the Brazilian flag to Punk, and he raised it to the uh, pop of the crowd. You know, he got the... So anyway, uh, Jericho uh, ended up, uh, took the flag that Punk had, and kicked it. Well, during the match, referee came down and uh, interrupted the match. Jericho was forced to take the microphone and apologize to the Brazilian fans for disrespecting the flag earlier. Well, anyway, the match continued. Punk ended, uh, he ended up winning. Punk celebrated with a Brazilian flag and WWE title uh, while Jericho was hurried to the back where police officers were waiting. And as noted before, uh, Jericho was almost the rest of the cooler heads prevailed, they said, and he was just hurried out of the country. Not the arena, the country. You know, I wish the U.S. would give a little more, people in the U.S. get a little more respect our life, too. What can you do? TNA World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Roode taking on Sting has been announced for next week's live impact. Uh, beginning uh, in the new time slot of 8 Eastern Standard Time. And it was announced on Impact last night that the match is going to be also a Lumberjack match. Also set for next week's uh, Brooke Hogan official TNA TV debut as the new head of the Knockout Division. Which we can't really, you know, get mad about that because us guys, we always love new heads of the Knockout Division. Anyway, TNA has announced that uh, they will uh, reveal matches for Slammiversary pay-per-view on next Thursday's broadcast. Independent wrestler uh, Joey, you know, I don't know what we're going to do with that being live. We can't tell you spoilers ahead of time. We'll just have to watch, won't we? Any, anyway, independent wrestler Joey Ryan, he was training worldwide on Twitter last night following, um, well, a veteran loss to TNA X Division Champion Austin Aries. And happy birthday to Triple A World Champion Ricky Judas Messina Banderas. He went by Messina there for a while. Uh, 37 years old. Uh, former WWF personality Frenchie Martin. Remember him with the 
uh, 62 years old and two-time WWE champion Alberto Del Rio, 35. Also, this would have been the birthday of former NWA and AWA champion June Byers. Uh, would have been 90 years old. If I remember right, she was married to my favorite commentator, other than JR, Sam Mediker. Uh If you guys around here in the Midwest know him. Uh, he was also in Mighty Joe Young movie, by the way, pulling, trying to pull my, uh, Joe, uh, Joe off of the cliff. Tug of war. Anyway, WWE superstar Ezekiel Jackson uh, he was la has launched his uh, Facebook page, and it's under Facebook.com, Big Zeke WWE. Chris Jericho, who was suspended for uh, kicking the Brazilian flag last night, WWE with a live event, uh, he wrote on Twitter after the incident, just for the record, he says, I love Brazil. I wish we could have spent more time there. Beautiful country. I don't know if that was a little sarcastic, but if they whipped him out of the country quick, and they had a hell of a time getting into the place. Anyway, matches for tonight's uh, WWE SmackDown uh, is going to be Christian taking on Hunico Uzo's taking on O'Neal and Young, Ryback taking on two uh, local wrestlers, Santino Morales taking on Ricardo, which was Ricardo wrestled in a suit or got beat up in a suit. Uh, Damian Sandow uh, takes on Yoshi Tatsu. Not much of a match there. Sheamus taking on Jack Swagger and uh, Kane versus Randy Orton versus Alberto De Rio in the main event three-way. And here's what Jim Ross had to say about Chris Jericho's action. He said he was playing a part of a wrestling villain and entertainment-based entity. Uh, it's not uh, like he was uh, at a sporting event like a soccer and disrespected the flag. Rules are rules, and they have to be strict rules regarding the flag of uh, their country. Uh, he's playing a character, did an ad lib, and unfortunately stepped over the line of the local culture. Who uh, uh, he's uh, so he's been suspended indefinitely, and hopefully it will work out. Indefinitely, indefinitely could be. A major apology, maybe next week on uh, Raw and SmackDown, and maybe he'll be back again. Maybe he'll take off for a while for Fozzy. Uh, Brock Lesnar's legal representative, Paul Heyman, he landed at WWE uh, on the front page of ESPN. And uh, their hot as hot can be trending section with a surprise breaking news edition of the Heyman Hustle. This is off of uh, ESPN.com. It says, Heyman who uh, was not at the Raw last Monday, was in Vegas, and he interviewed the Hall of Famer uh, Mike Tyson on a recent DUI arrest and fall from grace from UFC uh, lightweight uh, uh, heavyweight champion John Bones Jones. Uh, so Heyman is now back on WWE TV as one of the company's top storylines and got a scoop that no other member of um, the MMA media did. He interviewed Mike Tyson about John Jones. If I find out anything else of uh, what's going on with uh, Jericho, I'll let you know. But for right now, I guess we've seen the last of him for a while, maybe. I hope not. He's a good heel, good wrestler, too. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.